Neuraminidase inhibitors, mechanism of action. Influenza may be transmitted directly from person to person when an infected person coughs or sneezes or indirectly through contaminated surfaces. Large aerosolized droplets containing the virus may be inhaled or ingested, or may come into contact with the eyes and conjunctiva, mouth, and nasal passages. The virus attempts to colonize the cells in the epithelial lining of the nasopharynx and respiratory mucosa. Upon binding, the virus is internalized and the genome is released. The viral genome uses host cell mechanisms to transcribe and translate viral glycoproteins, including hemagglutinin, HA, and neuraminidase, NA. All of the required viral components are trafficked to the host cell's plasma membrane, where viral progeny assembly occurs. The virus then buds from the plasma membrane to be released into the extracellular space, where it is capable of spreading the influenza infection. Damage caused by the virus to host epithelial cells during this process is partly responsible for the impaired function of these cells, resulting in symptoms such as reduced mucociliary clearance. The sialidase action of neuraminidase on sialic acid receptors is crucial for the newly formed virus's release, which would otherwise rebind viral hemagglutinin, keeping it attached to the host cell's surface. In the absence of antibodies or neuraminidase inhibitors, neuraminidase cleaves sialic acid receptors on the host cell's surface, allowing viral release and subsequent colonization. New influenza viruses bud from the host cell and are released into the extracellular space where they can further spread infection. Neuraminidase inhibitors disrupt the release of influenza virus from the host cell. These neuraminidase inhibitors mimic neuraminidase's sialic acid binding site. When introduced, they bind neuraminidase on the budding viruses, blocking its enzymatic activity. Thus, influenza virus remains bound to the host cell surface and is unable to spread infection.